How's it going, homies? Today, we are going to take a look at the Silver Wolf gun. Now, this is part of a bundle. It's a paid bundle, the Black Beret Kit. Let me show you what's in the bundle. The head increases the range of handguns by 10%. The jacket increases the rate of fire for single handguns by 25%. That's pretty awesome. That's really, really powerful. The pants decrease the damage you take from those little fake metals by 25%, which nobody uses those metals anymore because they cost gold, and that's very expensive to equip that gadget. Now, the Silver Wolf. Look at this thing. It looks sick. It looks like such a real handgun. I love how it looks. I love the skin. I love the decal on the handle or the grip of the gun. It is awesome. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is because they call it the Black Beret Bundle. They hyphenate everything and they call it BB Head, BB Vest, BB Pants. All the old time elites know we in the community created our own abbreviation for BB and BB is Blunderbuss. So when you say BB, you're talking about Blunderbuss, not Black Beret. You see, three years ago, when I was playing this game, there was maybe one third of the weapons that are out in the game now, a very small number of weapons. The top player level was level 30, and what we would do is everybody would slap on their BB, their blunderbuss, their blunderbuss, and we would have huge blunderbuss fights, which was awesome. Those were the good old days. Now there's so much different weapons, hardly anybody uses blunderbuss anymore. Anyways, I got off on a tangent. Back to the silver wolf. Guys, this is why this weapon is incredible. Now, you have two choices from the bundle. You have the Black Beret bundle, which is the one I'm using now, which comes with the Silver Wolf, like we talked about. And then there's the, the other bundle, which is the Outlaw bundle. This bundle that I'm playing with now is much cheaper in price. And this gun, I actually like it better than the Outlaw gun. And the reason why is how powerful it is. Seven rounds in the clip. Two shots to kill, really good range. If you are an accurate marksman, if you are good and you have good aim, you will completely wreck with this gun. It kills so fast. It has a little bit of a slower fire rate than the other weapons, but it is powerful. It is a beast. You know with the standard revolver, it takes three shots to kill. This takes two shots to kill. You kill guys faster. Going up against the revolver guys, I was wrecking the revolver guys with this weapon. See how awesome it is from long range? Just a really, really fun weapon. I like the weapon. There's a headshot of that guy coming. Now, a lot of people are asking in the comments for my last video, Chase, how do you get headshots with handguns? So there's a little glitch I'm going to teach you guys. One of the best ways to get headshots with a handgun, with a revolver or a handgun like this, is when somebody's going to about to pop around the corner, you have to shoot really fast. You have to have your thumb ready on the trigger. And just as somebody pops around, if you fire the weapon, good chance you're going to get a headshot. Now, here's the reason why. This game has auto-aim. What happens is the cursors lock on the body. Well, if somebody just comes around the corner, it doesn't give your cursors the chance to lock onto the body. So you're able to hit the head really, really fast. That's one way. The other way is you got to get up on higher platform looking down at people because you have a much better vantage point to hit the head. And I know a lot of events out there have headshot as one of the things that you have to do in order to move on to the next tier in the event. That's how you get the headshots. Go on higher ground and make sure you go really, really fast fire rate as somebody's popping around a corner on you before it locks on so you can get that headshot. The other thing you want to make sure you do when you're playing with this type of a weapon, a handgun, one that you hold in one hand, is you want to make sure you strafe. Strafing is key. With the handguns, you're able to move around faster. This is the only way you're going to get the edge. You've seen the clips here. I'm going against other guys who have very powerful handguns. I'm coming off with the kill due to movement. Moving my legs back and forth, strafing, making the enemy miss while I hit my target. That is a great strategy that you need to use. Now, there is a clan out there that is so good, guys, and this clan is called RA Clan, Revolver Addiction Clan. This is like the absolute best event for Revolver Addiction Clan. I love those guys. A lot of those guys were formerly in my clan, Chase X. A lot of them still say they are in Chase X, but Revolver Addiction, before this event came out, these dudes, these bros of mine, would only play with one weapon, the revolver. And you know revolver is my most favorite weapon. Now, for anybody still watching, my real subscribers, I have a massive surprise coming up. I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Not a sneak peek. I'm just going to tease it a little bit. 
I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and there's going to be a surprise coming for the Responsibles players, and it has to do with Revolver. I've been working with Digital Legends to do something, and just say, I just got to say, it's going to be incredible. So stay tuned, because once I drop 100K, I'm going to be hooking up you guys, subscribers, with some really freaking amazing stuff in the game. That's all I'm going to say. I can't go into any more detail than that. Hopefully I hit 100K in the next few months. We'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and get some hype going. Let me know in the comments. Let's give your guesses. What do you think this is going to be? What do you think the secret surprise is going to be when I hit 100,000 subscribers? Let me know down below. Also, let me know down below how you're liking this event. This is the fastest gunslinger event. I think it's one of the better events that's ever been put out. I really like the event. One of the things they also did in this event, and the reason you're seeing me using regeneration for... Actually, I don't know that I've ever done a video using this regeneration gadget, is because with the spotter gadget, they basically made it so it's unusable. That it only works for like three seconds, and then it dies. That's why you're seeing a lot of people running around with the cyber ninja head, because with the cyber ninja head, when you hold still, it's going to show you where the players are on the map. What I wish Digital Legends would have done is if they were going to go ahead and nerf the spotter for the event, which is fine, they should have also nerfed the Cyber Ninja head and make it so it don't, make, made it so it didn't work. Because what I'm seeing, and it's really stinking annoying, you guys have seen it too, I'm seeing guys like this guy right here that I'm about to kill, he's got that Cyber Ninja head, right? Well, what you see is these Cyber Ninja head guys, they'll just stand behind a wall, standing still so they see everybody on the map, and they'll just point their gun around the corner and just wait for somebody to approach and shoot them. And that just takes absolutely no skill. I really, really hate the Cyber uh, Ninja bundle, like from top to bottom. I wish they would just get rid of the bundle, but whatever. That's just my opinion. So that's uh, this is going to be awesome. Approaching 100,000 subscribers. Maybe I'll hit it uh, in a few months. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. One more thing I want to address. I'm rambling here because I've got more clips to show of me beasting on pros and just got some stuff to get off my chest. But I keep seeing this comment. You guys see, I've been posting so much Clash Royale videos, and I really appreciate you guys for supporting me watching that game. I know just about everybody in the world is playing Clash Royale, but what I'm seeing from my Responsible subscribers is a lot of people are saying things like, oh, Chase quit Responsibles, or um, you know, Chase doesn't play the game anymore, or he only upstates Clash Royale. I just want to remind you guys of a few things. Uh, number one, since the day I started doing Responsibles, I would only upload one video a week on the game. And so that's basically what I've been doing this whole time for three years. Uh, I will continue to post um, reviews on every single new weapon, every single new event, because I just feel like I owe it to the fans who've been with me for years. And it's just, I, I that's just something I'll do. I'll do it until the day I die. I do, I'll do it until there's one player left in the game. So why am I posting so much Clash Royale? To be frank and to be honest with you guys, let's face it, the game has got me big. The game has really like uh, made me grow a lot faster than Responsibles ever would, like five to ten times. And I've told you on the channel, I only play games I love. I love Clash Royale. I had no idea it would get the response that it did, but I'm adding so many subscribers because of that game, so many new people coming to the channel. And what's really freaking awesome is a lot of these people are seeing my content on these shooter games that they didn't even know exist. And they're downloading it. And we're seeing new players come into the shooter game. So that's pretty cool. If you are still listening to me at this point, I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for all the years of support. And let's round it out with my last thoughts on the Silver Wolf. I love this weapon. This is going to be in my new top five. If I were to make a top five weapon um, kind of countdown, this would be in my top five. I love the reload animation so much. It's so realistic. I like the look of the gun. I like the feel of the gun. Everything about this weapon is freaking amazing. Hope you enjoyed hanging with me today. I enjoyed hanging with you, getting some stuff off my chest, and just putting it out there. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.